Hey folks, this is Mark Vina, CEO of Smart Tech Research. Smart Tech Research is proud to have Aura sponsoring my Smart Tech Check podcast. Aura Security Software is the all-in-one digital safety net for the whole family. It's literally like having a personal cyber guardian that protects all of the devices in your home on a 24 by seven basis. What's more, its AI functionality stands out as it constantly learns and adapts to threats keeping your family and you safe around the clock. It's a must have solution for anyone serious about online security. Stay tuned for a special no obligation promo offer for Aura that will give you cybersecurity peace of mind. Hi, I'm Anna with Smart Tech Research. Whether you're browsing the web, checking emails, monitoring your children's online behavior, spam calls and identity protection, and conducting online transactions, Aura has your back, ensuring a secure and seamless experience every time. Aura's comprehensive security solutions are compatible with Microsoft Windows, Apple Mac OS, Android, iOS, and iPad OS devices. For an exclusive 14-day no-obligation trial version of Aura, use the on-screen QR code or visit the website shown here. Aura is the smart, simple way to stay safe online. Hi, it's Mark Vina with Smart Tech Research. Uh, today is Monday, February 26th, uh, 2024. I'm here with Javier Del Prado, the VP and GM of Mobile Connectivity at Qualcomm. Javier, welcome to the podcast. Hey, thank you, Mark. Thanks for inviting me. Well, I'm glad you're here. This is really a very exciting time um, for Qualcomm. Uh, some very interesting technology that you briefed me on about, about three or four weeks ago. And uh, that it's going to be big no news uh, very, very shortly. And that is in the whole wireless connectivity area around something that you call Fast Connect 7900. Um, and it's, you know, it's not a trivial technology. I, really, you know, I was kind of excited when we had our briefing because it solves so many really practical problems um, it's, and we're going to get into, this, into, into a little bit of a deep dive on this. But first and foremost, tell us a little bit about what you do at Qualcomm. Yeah, definitely. So as you said, I'm a VP and GM for mobile connectivity. Uh, so basically, uh, I manage all the connectivity solutions at Qualcomm that go into the smartphone and the Android tablets. And uh, by connectivity, we mean uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And you know, who doesn't have a device today that doesn't have wireless, Bluetooth, ultra wideband? That's obviously a big uh, con uh, communications uh, capability. But let's talk a little bit about this Fast Connect 7900. What is it, and why should business users and consumers even care? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm glad I'm glad to be here today. Um, really exciting me time for me. Um, you know, we are delivering something unique to the market, something that addresses, as you said, real, real user problems. So I'll be glad to talk about, about it in a bit more detail. Uh, so FastConnect 7900, this is our next generation uh, flagship connectivity device. Um, it's the second generation Wi-Fi 7 device. Um, we introduced uh, the first generation a couple of years ago. This is the second generation. Um, and of course, it brings all the goodness of Wi-Fi 7 to the market. Um, but on top of that, we are adding a couple of new additions uh, to the chip, which are going to make a big difference. Mm -hmm. um, first one, this is the first ever connectivity device that integrates AI. AI, what is AI? I never heard of that. I never, <laughs> never heard of that phrase before. <laughs> yeah. I, I couldn't come to a Qualcomm building and not expect to hear the word AI. Exactly. So just, just, so, but just ha having said that. Okay, <laughs> so I'll talk about it in a bit more detail. And uh, the second one, the second one, first ever uh, connectivity device that integrates ultra wideband. Again, major disruption in the market, uh, cool new use cases, cool new experiences. And let me answer the second part of your question. What are the benefits to the user? So I'll, I'll cover maybe what will AI and ultra wideband bring to the table? So the way that we think about AI for connectivity, right? Um, look, everybody is using Wi-Fi today. Is using Wi-Fi anywhere. At home, in the office, in the airport, in the shopping mall, in a concert, and it's using Wi-Fi for all sorts of applications. It's not just email and browsing, it's also for voice calls, for video calls, uh, for posting videos, etc., etc. right? All those applications, all those environments are very different. 
uh, Wi-Fi, it's, you know, it's not like a cellular network that is managed. It's unlicensed spectrum. You know, there can be any interference, there can be congestion. And traditionally, when we had a Wi-Fi system, the Wi-Fi system is not aware of where it's operating. Um, you know, it's, um, we deliver a set of algorithms that try to meet the requirements for those experiences, but it's never optimized for a given experience. Mm -hmm. So that's the perfect problem for AI to solve. Now imagine that you have this brain on our device that is capable of understanding the application, that is capable of understanding the environment in which it's operating, and then it can adapt to that environment and optimize the user experience for that, right? That's what AI will bring to the user. When it comes to ultra wideband, um, look, it's no news. There are more and more applications around Find My Devices, right? Everybody's using the phone to find your keys, uh, find luggage. your friend, find right. your luggage, yeah. find anything, right? So ultra wideband brings a new dimension to that experience. With incredible accuracy. With incredible accuracy mm -hmm. and security. So that's what ultra wideband will bring, will bring to, the, to the users. See, what's fascinating to me when, we, when you first briefed me on this, and I don't think I'm an outlier. You know, I have a smart, uh, I, I, a smart home office. It's something probably at a NASA. You know, I've got two or three large 45 inch plus displays. I've got my Mac notebook. I've got, I'm looking at four or five displays and multiple spe uh, speaker setups, multiple microphone setups. And what drives me crazy, and we talked about this when I was at the event, is that the part of the problem with the smart office or the home, the, the smart home office that mo more and more people have, you know, post pandemic, is that, you know, you're going from a car uh, to maybe headsets to earbuds into your home office, you're on conference calls, you're not on conference calls. And more often than not, because the technology is really not smart, a lot of manual manipulation has to happen to make sure that the, the, uh, you're connected to the right device. And where I see the opportunity for this, and I don't think I'm an outlier in the fact that I think most people now who have home offices have this same problem, Fast Connect really should sort a lot of that out because AI over time will understand my usage models, how I kind of use things. Um, it's really good at iterating on, hey, past experiences, hey, by the way, you probably are doing this, so let me change settings and controls. Do you think that Fast Connect 7900 will play a role in that type of um, environment? Yeah, definitely. I think, um Last time that we spoke, uh, you used uh, the term uh, digital organization. He got I, good memory. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, so I think that's exactly what Fast Connect will do for the user, right? It will organize the, the digital the digital set of, of devices. Uh, well, and I'll just say this because hopefully some of the viewers will remember this. I, I think the analogy that I used was uh, the odd couple, you know, Oscar Madison's messy, messy bedroom. And Felix Unger, of course, the clean guy, had a very uh, organized bedroom. And But I really think that there is such a thing as digital disorganization and digital clutter. So I, I, I think this is a capability that will clean up and organize a lot of the uh, devices in people's homes. Yeah, definitely. So let me let me talk about a couple of capabilities that we're bringing on the device to help, to help with that, right? Um, today, the smartphone is at the center of that experience at home, right? The smartphone is your center device. It's connected to your laptop, it's connected to your TV, to your earbuds, to your watch, to your glasses, if you have some AR, VR glasses, right? Um, it's at the center of those experiences. And um, there are many, many connections now, all of them with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth that go to the device, to the same device, the smartphone. And those connections require you know, high throughput, low latency to guarantee a good user experience. Mm -hmm. So FastConnect 7900 introduces our second generation of high band simultaneous. This is the capability of doing multiple channels simultaneously on the high band. Why is that important? Because those channels are wider, there's more capacity and there is less congestion. So it will be much easier and unreliable to deliver the user experience with multiple channels on the high band. That's number one. Number two, going back to the introduction of ultra wide band. Um, those experiences that you're referring to, the way that we think about it, um, you know, many of those require the devices to be aware 
of the relative position to the other devices. So for example, you probably want to know when you're approaching your laptop, uh, your phone could in start interacting with your laptop uh, when you're approaching it. Um, you may want to know whether your display is on the left side or the right side of your laptop, mm -hmm. right? So instead of configuring your displays manually, you can do that automatically. That drives me crazy. If that solves my, my problem, I'll be so beholden to Qualcomm. Yeah. Let me just say that publicly. But no, that, that is a big, big problem in that, you know, again, even average work at home users have multiple displays. And being able to use them effectively, if you have to spend three minutes kind of reorganizing your desktop and where your displays are, it can be, most people know that can be a very frustrating experience. So that's terrific that that's gonna yeah. hopefully help with that problem. We have a cool demo. Uh, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely share with you uh, so, that, so that you can refer to it. Um, on, on how the displays can be automatically configured using, for example, ultra wideband. Ultra wideband, right? Right. So that's uh, that's a cool application. Um, so yeah, we we bring all the location technologies into the same device, right? We simplify the experience for the user. We make the experience agnostic to the technology. With our device, we support any technology. Uh, we support any end device. Um, so that simplifies the user experience at the end of the day. Let's talk a little bit about, so this is very, very exciting, and I, well, we're going to talk about timing and when, do, when we, you expect to see devices come out with uh, the 7900, but why is Qualcomm so well positioned to deliver uh, this, this experience? I know that, you know, obviously, you know, you've been at the company for some time. Qualcomm has an incredible brand um, uh, reputation for connectivity and communications, but this is kind of, a connectivity experience in steroids. This takes things up a couple of notches, especially when you lay the AI piece to it. Why is Qualcomm so uniquely um, equipped to deliver this kind of really compelling user experience? Yeah, excellent, excellent question. Thanks, Mark. So, um, yeah, um, look, I can think of a couple of angles here as well. So, um, number one, it's not just about technology leadership. Right. Um, of course, we were the first ones to come with the Wi-Fi 7 to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, our um, uh, first generation Wi-Fi 7 was the first one in the market and is one of the first being certified. Uh, you know, products in the market supporting Wi-Fi 7 today, uh, the first one being certified are with Qualcomm connectivity, right? But beyond, beyond the fact that we are ahead in technology, um, it's also the breadth that we bring to the table, right? Um, in Qualcomm, we develop many technologies, sometimes for cellular, sometimes for other markets. Um, we can leverage those technologies um, and bring definitely user benefits to the user uh, through connectivity, right? Um, leverage those technologies in connectivity, that's number one. But number two, you know, Qualcomm beyond mobile, we also participate in other markets, right? We participate in the earbud, we participate in VR and AR. Um, we participate on automotive. Uh, we participate on compute with uh, Windows on a Snapdragon, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a presence on all those markets and uh, we have a unique position where we can develop end-to-end -end solutions with all those devices, all those devices that you have at home and that you want to organize. We can develop end-to-end -end solutions that optimize the user experience when you use Qualcomm on both ends. Well, and, and while you are a technology ingredient company, mm -hmm. you know, you work with the most popular um, players at the end of, at the OEM device level, and that gives you enormous credibility, mm -hmm. you know, from a, from a go-to-market standpoint. And, you know, what I've always been kind of, in, um, kind of um, intrigued with at, uh, um, at uh, Qualcomm is that, this is not, hey, here's a piece of technology, Mr. OEM, go implement it. You really do a nice job of thinking through the usage models. Now, the OEM may have a, an interesting implementation that mm -hmm. might be different from another OEM, but you have, a, you have a point of view. Yeah. So talk a little bit about that kind of design and expertise that you provide. Yeah, definitely. So look, at the end of the day, what are we trying to do? Um, it's not just about speeds and fits. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to deliver a user experience. We want to make uh, the user experience the best possible user experience, right? So we always focus on the end use case. Mm -hmm. And we develop technology all the way, you know, from the software stack all the way down to the hardware and the antenna. 
right? We optimize the end-to-end, -end, the full stack, the full stack mm -hmm. to make sure that we deliver um, that experience. We work with partners. Of course, we work in the Android ecosystem, right? So we work with our OEMs, we work with partners to make sure that the overall end-to-end -end system uh, delivers the experience that we had thought of when we started the design of the chip. So you got me really excited. Uh, when can we expect to see some of these devices show up with, with Fast Connect 7900? Yeah, um, so definitely. Uh, we expect the first devices in the market the second half of the year, right? And I cannot wait for you to try one of those. Well, I suspect that CES next year will be a big, big uh, coming out party from a, from a device standpoint. But this is terrific. Mm -hmm. Any closing comments, uh, Javier? Oh, thank you. I'm uh, really excited. I think, again, we bring uh, something that is, which is very unique. Um, something that is different from what we have done in the past. Um, really looking forward to that, you know, uh, reception from the market and uh, see the excitement around it. Well, thanks very much, Javier. We look forward to it. Thanks again. Hey, thank you, Mark.